Hey guys, it's Wes with LazyLoafer.com. It's the 1st of December. We've grown our beards out, and now we're going to try and decide who has the manliest beard. You see behind me, somebody you haven't met on video before, that would be Josh, our chief graphics and coding dude. Um, he's not much of a talker, but as you can see, he has a pretty decent manly looking beard. So in a few moments, what we're gonna do is come up with some ways to decide who has the manliest beard. Man, this is gonna be great. Most of the time these guys make me do something hard. It's just not any fun at all. All I had to do was just grow my beard for a month and now I can just sit here with a beer and take it easy and win this contest hands down. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, we've come up with it. We're gonna see whose beard is most bullet resistant. Bullet resistant, yeah, right. How hard can that be? Um, wait a minute. You don't mean real bullets, do you? Yeah. Real bullets? Uh-huh. F-T-W... Uh, T-W-F... Wait a minute. F... Uh, I think you mean W-T-F. W-T-F? What the hell does that mean? And now time for the buckshot test. Man, that hurt. I thought this was supposed to be easy. You guys said all I had to do was not shave and not do anything hard or hey, difficult. Hey, hey, quit. Quit fussing oh. and then just get the shot out of your beard. Fine. All right, let's count them. These are worth one point each. One, two, three, four, five. And we have five points for five shot. Pass. All right, my turn. What do we got here? That's only four. I win, I win, I win. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. And now the next phase of the contest, 45 points goes to the one who has the least amount of gray in their beard. What? You gotta be kidding me. You mean if I would have smeared shoe polish all over my face, I would have a better beard than his? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I've had gray in my beard ever since I was seven years old. The first well, time well, I, well, I, I tell you what. What? I've got an idea on how we settle this. Since you've got your panties in such a wide, we're gonna call it a tie between you and Josh. I'm gonna bow out. A tie? Fine. Can't believe he called that a tie. I'm the one who got shot in the face with the shotgun. Josh didn't do anything except just color his beard. These guys are always picking on me. They're just mean to me. I don't know why we have to have a tie. All right, guys, you're going 10 paces. You're going to turn around wait, and fire. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't even a real gun. This is a stupid Nerf gun that you got your kid for Christmas. What? Now, what am I supposed to do with this? Are you, you're going to duel with it. How, can I, how am I supposed all to right, do with All right, all right, all right, all right. Since you're fussing so much, give me that gun, and you take Fine. that one. Wait a minute. Look at the size of this. What is this, a screaming cricket or something hey, for men in black? That's a real gun. Deal with it, okay? Man. All right, 10 paces, guys, on my mark. Ready, set, go. 